This episode of Quanell's Blowing Up was intended to be aired without Quanell, but for legal issues, we are required to show him for at least five seconds per show. So, here's Quanell for about five seconds. Hua! Hua! There. You happy now? Got your fix? Alright, okay. It's Quanell. My name is Quanell. I'm doing well. You are watching YouTube Reflections Behind the Humor with your host, Gideon Blaine. What up, shorties? Thanks for taking some time away from being all up in the club and joining us again for another fascinating, stimulating episode of YouTube Reflections Behind the Humor. This week's episode continues with the cast of Quanell's Blowing Up. We begin with the character named Ray Ray, owner of Ray Ray's Pickles and Waffles. Really? Apparently, really. And we follow up this interview with Diggy, co-star of Quanell's Blowing Up and host of the show Max Diggy Music. Why have I not heard of these shows before? Most likely because they're not very good. Thank you so much for sitting in with us today, sir. Please go ahead and state your name for the audience. The name? Raymond Ray Ray Thomas. Very good, Mr. Ray Ray. Let's get started with the audience questions. How many people have you fired thus far? And what's the weirdest waffle you've ever invented? How many people have I not fired? I guess the answer might be none. Can't fire nobody, ain't paid yet. I see. Some of the people that's working for him are still waiting for a paycheck. <laughs> In all seriousness, I fired a very large number of people. And the weirdest waffle you've ever invented? I designed a shrimp and calamari waffle for Lady Gaga once. That was a long time ago, back when she was Baby Gaga. Lady Gaga, huh? There must be a story to this. She's a very interesting person, that Gaga. She asked me to serve it to her on a lambskin plate. Interesting. I mean, who in their right mind would put calamari and waffles in the same plate? That's just ridiculously unheard of, which is why I stick to the basics and do pickles and waffles. Good decision. So, Ray Ray, did you always want to own a restaurant? Honestly, no. When I started college, I wanted to go into music so I can go on tour with Ray Charles and be a groupie wrangler. Is that right? Ray Charles had too many groupers to keep track of. I wanted to wrangle them all together and occasionally touch and marry a couple. But my dream became deferred when I first tried pickles and waffles. It was on accident. I dropped a jar of pickles and a box of Eggos on the floor one night. It just happened to work that way. And I don't waste anything. Well, I think your clumsy discovery has become a better situation for all of us. Thank you so much, Mr. Ray Ray. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Let me know when it's going to be on TV so I can video cassette record it. Pretty sure those don't exist anymore. Please bring in the next interview. Good evening, sir. Uh, Have a seat. Wonderful. Now, please, state your name for the audience. My name is Diggy, a.k.a. Max Diggy, a.k.a. The Golden Child, a.k.a. Six Foot, Seven Foot, Eight Foot, Hut. Nah, people don't really call me that. I just need more a.k.a.s. Fascinating. Let's begin with some questions from YouTube. A lot of the fans are wondering, why do you sound so much like Quanell? Why do I sound like Quanell? I do? Really? Dang it. I knew I've been spending too much time with that dude. Interesting. Kindly elaborate. Quanell has this thing when he gets angry, right? And he just puts it on everybody and won't shut up about it. And he talks and he talks. Hey, yada, yada, yada. And every time I get angry, I associate myself with Quanell. So now, every time I get... See? Do you see what's going on right now? Um... Diggy, you're starting to sound like... I'm getting angry right now, and I hear myself sounding like him, and I want to punch myself in the throat. Could this animosity have something to do with the fact that Cornell stole your show? Okay, let me set the record straight. First of all, he did not steal my show, okay? I let him borrow my camera and my studio. Now, granted, it was on a day that I didn't know that he was doing it, but I still let him do it. And yeah, so what? Okay, he's got more subscribers than me. He has a little bit more success than me. Whatever. So what? I wasn't even really trying when I did my show. Hmm. Yet you do admit his success. Does that trouble you? The fact that your success has not come as fast? See, that's where, that's where you're wrong. When he succeeds, I succeed. Because I'm also a part of this show, see what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm succeeding. Uh-huh, you, you get that part, you buying that part? Absolutely. Thank you, Diggy. Good day. All right, peace. Flip side. No, huh? all right. I'm sorry, Diggy, but no peace signs allowed. It's in Quanell's contract. I can't end with it on his show? I'm afraid not. Why can't I? Fine. I'll show you another finger, huh? How about this one? Oh!